This is a steel 029 chainsaw that I'm going to be rebuilding. Already missing a couple parts from it. The recoil assembly is gone. And somebody took the spur sprocket off already. Aside from that, I think everything is there. I don't know if you hear that rattle. But that's the piston and the muffler. Alright, now the parts I'm going to be using, I got everything from HL Supply. I'm going to be using a Cross Performance 039 MS390 top end. If you rebuild one of these saws, it's not worth it to use a 029 or MS290 top end on it. Go with the 039 MS390 top end on it because it'll take a 55cc saw and turn it into 64ccs. Here's the new cross pop-up piston. You can see how the piston is domed up. Usually the piston is flat. This gives you more compression. We'll talk about that more later once I get into the assembly. Then, since there's parts of the piston in the muffler, I got a new muffler. Then a card kit to rebuild the card because I'm unsure how long this all's been setting. Then the crank seals. And that's my new spur sprocket. I got a starter handle because the recoil I have is missing the rope and handle. Then I found this set of SKF bearings on eBay. Kind of makes sense while you're in these sauce to go ahead and do bearings. So if you're looking for a saw to learn on, I think this is an excellent saw because they're easy to find. The parts are cheap and readily available for these saws. And a lot of people say they're hard to work on, but they're really not that hard to work on. Once you get the wrap handle off and then the rear handle, it's not that bad at all to work on. And those two things are not hard to remove. So now I'll get into the disassembly of the saw. All right, I'm going to start off by removing the wrap handle. Now I'll go ahead and remove this rear handle assembly. Air cleaner. This thing has almost a new air filter on it. I'm just going to snap this back down on so I don't lose any of this. I'm 
now the carb should slide off. Just connect the fuel line as I'm sliding it off. Pretty dirty. Now that the carb's off, this little insert can be removed. Push the intake boot through the rear handle assembly. Go ahead and unbolt the coil. Because the wiring needs to be fished up through. Pop the plug wire off. Shift the handle over slightly. That's screw. Now I'll flip it over, or well, now I'll remove the oil pump. Looks like the worm gear is broken on it too. Alright, now I'll flip it over. There's four screws here in the bottom. I doubt this impact will knock them loose, but I'll try. I got this screw, ground screw. I'll remove this rear bar stud so I can remove the crank pan. I'll thread a nut on there, then jam another nut against it.
stripped down to a bare fuel tank, or at least as far as we need to go to rebuild this saw. So at this point in time, you can take the saw out and clean it up if you want to. Here's what the piston looks like. Not sure how well it's going to show up on camera, but you can see there and there.